guys, it's me, Jay Woods. First off, please um, excuse the amount of mess going on back here. Um, but today I'm just going to talk about this new product. It is the Maybelline Dream BB Bronze. Um, I believe I picked this up for like $9.99, but I did see it, like I googled it, like another um, pharmacy had it for like $6.99, so somewhere between $6.99 and $9.99 for this little bad boy right here. It's the same exact size as their other BBs. Um, so this is mostly just supposed to, oh, this is just supposed to give you like a bronzy glow. It has an SPF of 25. I got the color medium slash deep bronze and I'm just going to show you you know how it applies on my skin normally then how it applies when you mix it up with some foundation so yeah definitely subscribe down below give me a like and keep watching okay so here I am you know just applying it um I started applying it with my fingers but then I felt like it would be better to apply it with a brush it definitely goes on dark dark but once you blend it out it uh gets lighter and just you know matches the skin a little bit better. I got it in the medium deep color, but they do have um, another color that's lighter than this. And yeah, it only comes in two shades. So yeah, here I am just blending it out and finishing up uh, with the application. Okay, so I just applied just the um, BB bronze and honestly, like, okay, it definitely did make me darker. I'll like insert the before and after right here. Okay, so this is the before, and now this is the after look. Yeah. Sort of thick pieces of um, glitter. I don't know if you can see it. It's seriously like just so much glitter. Like I feel like freaking Edward Cullen. Alright, now I'm going to try and mix it with my foundation to see if that helps it not look so glittery because I ain't trying to look like a vampire, alright? Vampires are so like 2008. Okay, so here I am, um, you know, just applying the L'Oreal Pro Matte, and then I'm going to mix that in with the BB Bronze. And I definitely use more bronzer here before, because before I felt like I was giving you, like, that J-Lo glow realness, but I was just like, you know what, let me give them some straight up snooky, some, you know, like, Jersey Shore, like, let me really, you know, darken, um my complexion a little bit more so I definitely added um, some more color so it'll look like what I would look like if I was faking and baking out in the sun so yeah and once again also applied it with the brush okay so I just mixed it in with my um, L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation it definitely did give me some color but it still looks super just sparkly which is really weird but I'm, I'm just gonna like finish the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. Now once again this is my before and then this is my snookified look. Oompa Hey guys okay so I just you know finished my makeup I put on some bronzer. I obviously put on a nice little lip. This is actually the um LA Girl one of the pigment glosses which are freaking amazing and um I also you know put on my eyebrows um but I will say I am just so upset right now because I love the way my face looks like I don't know I guess I've never really seen myself with a tan I don't tan because um you know it ages the skin but I feel like this is giving me just life I feel like it's giving me a really um nice color but then I'm mad that I love it because I look shiny as I mean I definitely look like you know a twilight vampire i look like a freaking penny i look like somebody punched me in the face with a sack of glitter i mean i look like a sweet potato i'm kind of loving it and i hate myself for that like this is definitely inspiring me to want to get a tan and um the thing is that i don't know if like the glitter is picking up like can you guys see down here how freaking glittery it is it's so awkward um but yeah, I mean, I definitely think that it does do what it says it's going to do. It does give you, you know, a color. It gives you, you know, a glow and it's instant. Some, like, facial, like, tanner things. They're, like, gradual. And this, you know, since it's not, like, um a tanning product, it is just going to wash off. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely does what it says it's going to do. So, I mean, I guess it's a good product. But with the light off, um, my glitter face isn't as horrible. 
definitely looked a lot better um, with the light off. But I'm thinking like if you are trying to, you know, wear a bronzing product on your face, you're probably trying to wear it um, during the day. So I don't know how this is going to look in daylight. I did take a picture of myself on my iPhone and it looks gorgeous with flash. Um, it did look, you know, pretty good and it did still keep like my little tan look going. Uh, this actually has an SPF of 25 in it, which is a pretty decent. And you know what? Even though I hate, hate, hate the glitter, ugh, I think that this type of product is awesome. It's definitely necessary because, you know, I personally don't really believe in tanning simply because it does age the skin so much all about like um just like adding like a tanner like a spray tanner or something like that to your skin i feel like it's a lot better um for you because you don't want to you know prematurely age your skin but when you do that it's like you don't want to apply that to your face because when you wash it off it looks super blotchy so i think that this is a great option if you don't want to add um an actual tanner to your face because you don't want your face to look like it has like all these spots on it you know like a leopard cow what's that uh yeah but i definitely mm, i think you should pick it up if you don't mind having a shiny ass face yeah let me know if you have any questions down below and i'll holla at you later